Well, higher education comes at higher prices now because higher interest rates kicked in this month for student loans. Yay! <laughs> Financial advisor Dan Ingman is here from Morgan Stanley in YZ to run down what college students and families need to know about the rate hike. So we're going to start with the raw numbers. Right. Rates are up, and they, they, every May, they're based on the 10-year Treasury bond. Many people may not know what that is, but that's a benchmark interest rate for a bond. It establishes where rates will go each year. And for this year, we're seeing rates crawl up to 4.45% for were a just subsidized there, I swear, loan. <laughs> right, they, they're disappearing on me. 4.45% for the subsidized loan. Mm -hmm. That's up from three and three quarter. For an unsubsidized loan, for most people borrowing student money, that goes up to 6%, five point, from 5.31%. And direct plus loans, and many families have those out there, up from 6.31 to 7%. A fairly meaningful hike for many families. So does this affect existing loans, or are we talking about if you are shopping for a loan right now? This is for new loans dispersed after July 1st for the new academic year, and that's an important point. And they don't fluctuate once you've had that loan dispersed. It's a fixed rate for the life of that loan unless you choose to refinance it. You mentioned the word disbursement, which leads me into your other point that, that I wanted to talk about, and that is it's not just the interest rate. There are other fees associated with this. There are, and be aware of that, and you'll have that all disclosed, but often it may be in the fine print. But take a PLUS loan, for example, a family with a $30,000 PLUS loan. That fee is about 4 and a quarter percent That will cost you about $1,300 to have that loan processed and wow. dispersed out to you. Now there's another number too that probably, we like being near the top of the list, but on th this particular list, we don't right. like this that. This is not something we're necessarily proud of, but maybe it means that we're an educated state, but Minnesota ranks sixth in our nation, sixth, when it comes to student debt. About 70% of our students leave with debt, the average balance just over $31,000. And that is something that people need to be aware of as they're contemplating the cost of the schools they're considering. Yeah, we're nowhere near the high, sixth highest in population, so that is a big that number is true. for us. It's a big number. Shop around, talk to somebody who knows Dan Ament. We're going to put all these tips and information on care11.com after the show. Go to shows to find the sunrise page. Thank you so much. It's my pleasure. Make it a great day. Always will. Do you like the humidity? Love it. Love I'm it? I'm not going to complain because we only have a few weeks left of summer. Sven loves you then because we do have a little bit of humidity left in the uh, atmosphere, right Sven?